Hello world and welcome to the 24-7 Prayer Rewind. My name is Ian Nicholson, I'm the European Director of 24-7 Prayer and I work from this lovely little office in Guildford which has been newly decorated this week and more of that a little bit later. Um, the verse I've been thinking of is it's one that's meant something to me all my Christian life, particularly thinking about it this week, is Paul writing in Philippians and he says this, he says, I do not claim that I've already succeeded or I've already become perfect. I keep striving to win the prize for which Christ Jesus has already won me to himself. Of course, I really do not think that I have already won it. But one thing I do, however, is to forget what is behind and do my best to reach what is ahead. The image of the race are just looking for the finish line. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this past week. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for answered prayers. We thank you that you've been close to us and you've watched out for us even when we haven't known how to watch out for ourselves. But Lord, as we come to the end of this week and look ahead, we, um, we stir ourselves again to say, Lord, give us that spirit to be going for the finishing line, to be going for the, the upward call, to be going for, to take hold of that for which Jesus Christ has taken hold of us. So give us a determined spirit this week, Lord, in all that we're doing. In Jesus' name. Amen. So featured on 247prayer.com this week is a brilliant article by Tall Skinny Kiwi, otherwise known as Andrew Jones, and he's writing about how he was present at the largest prayer meeting in Egypt for a thousand years. So check that out. And as usual, we have three articles on our blog this week. The first one is a study guide. It's the third one in, in uh, helping us pray for HIV AIDS, a particular focus at this time of year. The second item is featuring a new book from someone within the 24-7 Prayer family, Rebecca Dunning. It's uh, a brilliant book. It's focused on uh, for children, and it's called The R One. And the third is uh, a slightly offbeat article about a very important event in the life of our office this week. It's been decorated. So you can see how it's happened, and you can also get in touch with us and give us maybe some improvements. What do you think of our mural, or muriel, as Etienne Pick would call it. <laughs> That's all from the 24-7 Prayer Rewind this week. Have a great time.